Oh, hey Jesse, you're here. Uh, why don't we take some time and give you a warm up and cool down for your long bike ride. Today we want to look at the hips and how to open them up after a long day on the bike because they're definitely going to get tight and we have to address them. For me as a practitioner, I'm an orthopedic physiotherapist, so that means I deal with sprains and strains, bones, ligaments, tendons, muscles. Uh, I deal with a lot of rehabilitation, so that's if you have an injury. How do we rehabilitate from that so that you get back to where you were before the injury? I also deal a lot with sport performance, so people without injury, but they want to take it to another level, and how do they do that? So that's a lot of what I do here at Synergy. Okay, so first we should start with the warm up and we've decided to do the, the world's best stretch. Something really good for stretching with the legs, uh, get a little bit of thoracic spine mobility and get you prepped for getting on that bike. Okay, so world's best stretch, really good for getting the hip flexors and the hamstrings going. And then we're gonna add a little twist in there to get the mid back moving because you're gonna be hunched over on your bike. So to start out, you're in a nice lunge position, back knee is straight, toes pointed forward. Then I want you to sink down towards the ground with your hands, back knee straight, and you should feel a good stretch in through the back leg as well as the front. Sink into that for 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, I want you to keep this in hand planted. Rotate up towards the ceiling and fall out with your eyes. And repeat that between three to five times, depending on how tight you feel that particular day. Think you got that? Okay, so 90-90 hip mobility, work on stretching out the glutes and making sure the hips don't stiffen up after your long ride. So for the setup, I want you to think about your knee and your chest to begin with, okay? So your leading knee, that's in line with your chest. Then I want you to take your fingers on this hand, point them back behind you, okay? And try to get it in a nice upright position. I got a 90 degree angle at my knee here, 90 degree angle at my knee here. Keeping my back and spine straight, I start to hinge through the hips, and bring my chest towards my knee. And you'll feel a really good stretch in the hip on this side. Hold for 30 seconds on one side. Okay. Let's say 30 seconds have gone by. Then you switch to the other side. Another stretch for the hips, I like to call it a short and long adductor stretch. Jesse likes to call it the twerking stretch. What we want to do here is we want to have one of your knees kneeling on the ground, uh, the other leg out to the side with the knee straight. From this position, pushing the hips forward and then working on pelvic tilts, so anterior and posterior pelvic tilts, which is what Jesse is cataloged as being a, a twerking motion. With this stretch, really nice, you're going to hit all of the groin muscles and it should help your hips from walking up. Super simple hip flexor stretch that everybody does wrong. Easy movement. Get into a kneeling position, turn on your core, fire that glute. If you can maintain that, reach the hand up overhead. Keep the core and glute on. Should feel great stretching through the front of your hip. There's not a lot of movement here. It's more about muscle activation. 